There's a new Call of Duty game on the way from Infinity Ward called Call of Duty Ghosts. From what we've seen so far, we know that it will include masks, Mask on. underwater machine guns, nice work. and a lovable pooch named Riley. Nice. Bad dog Riley, play nicely. Call of Duty Ghosts is the 10th installment in a series lots of people are starting to worry has run out of steam. But we're holding out hope for a great Call of Duty, as long as they avoid these seven things we don't want in Ghosts. Remember, no rush. Infinity Ward seems fond of including one shocking scene that pushes the boundaries of what's acceptable in a video game. Scenes such as No Russian from Modern Warfare 2, or the London bombing from Modern Warfare 3. At least I think this is London, I'm just guessing that because of the football and the three Union Jacks and the taxis and the red phone box. Actually, Big Ben is the name of the bell, not the clock tower, but uh, oh, she's dead. So yes, what do these scenes add to the game? Sure, they're catalysts to the plot, we know Makarov is a bad guy, we know what's at stake when we're trying to stop him, and you can make a case for interactive storytelling, but when you have no influence over the outcome, these bits feel like publicity stunts designed to outrage and generate headlines. Call of Duty Ghosts should have a storyline engaging enough that we don't need a scene where the cackling president of South America drives a school bus full of puppies wearing suicide vests into the UN building to make us feel invested. Give us some credit, Infinity Ward. Modern Warfare 2 was about a war between Russia and the US. Modern Warfare 3 was all-out world war. How do you go bigger than that? You don't, is the answer. We already know the story of Ghosts takes place in a world where the US is no longer a superpower, where a federation of South American countries has taken their place at the top of the food chain. For this to feel like a different game, the focus needs to shift from all-out infantry warfare to smaller-scale special ops missions based around infiltration and guerrilla warfare. What we've seen so far indicates that this is the direction Infinity Ward is going in, which is good. We're not against the big epic battles of previous games, but the Ghosts are supposed to be a small, elite spec ops unit armed with the best training and equipment available. The missions and turn of the game have to reflect this. Which brings me to my next point. Elite soldiers need elite opposition, otherwise what's the point? Not everyone needs to be on the same super soldier level as the ghosts, but let's skip enemies who pop out from behind boxes like animatronic baddies in a world where shooting gallery. And quantity is most definitely not a substitute for quality, so no endlessly respawning enemies unless there's a very good reason for it in the story, like a cloning machine that's gone haywire or a family of 3,000 brothers who all hate you. When so much time and effort is spent getting a game's weapons just right, it's a shame when the only damage they do to the environment is cosmetic. At a time when Call of Duty's biggest competitor, Battlefield 4, is showing off destruction tech that can level an entire skyscraper, Call of Duty is starting to look like it's being left behind. There is hope, however. Infinity Ward is working on dynamic maps for multiplayer in which players can shape the levels by triggering events. In one example, we've seen the chains holding a stack of logs together shot to crush enemies and create a path. Other rumours have hinted at massive explosions that can reshape the entire layout of a map. This is a step in the right direction, but we're hoping it won't just be a case of shoot the bomb, reform the map. Something less scripted and more unpredictable would be great, bringing an element of skill to the process that good players could use to their advantage. Oh boy, where to start with this? When it comes to Call of Duty multiplayer, you'll always find people who love certain features and people who hate them with a passion that burns brighter than a thousand suns. One such feature is score streaks, or kill streaks, or point streaks, or any streaks. Some think they move the focus away from pure gun on gun combat, others think they let inexperienced players have a chance of holding their own in an incredibly competitive multiplayer environment. They're definitely useful for players who are starting out. Support kill streaks like body armor and supply drops can help you be an effective member of a team even if you're not great at getting kills. But as anyone who's ever been gunned down by a stealth chopper before being immediately blown up by an RCXD and then set upon by attack dogs will tell you, it can get a bit ridiculous when everyone on the map is using them at the same time. We want to see more balance in the kill streaks and the return of support kill streaks for team players. You can let us know what you want to see in the comments below. One thing Call of Duty does right is small, compact maps. It keeps the carnage dense and close. If you're killed, you can respawn and be back in the action straight away. But with Battlefield 4 showing off huge, expansive 64-player maps, can Ghosts afford to keep things small? We don't think so. 
There are plenty of talented map designers at Infinity Ward. We'd love to see them turn their talents to something truly massive. We're not saying COD should abandon the tight, action-packed maps, just that they should add something on a larger scale. Maybe it's time to include vehicles as well to make navigating a bigger map less of a chore. As we've mentioned before, that dog is so doomed. I've got to ask, they're going to kill the dog. The dog is going to die, right? No comment. <laughs> Come on, don't make us go through that, please. Look at his little face. Okay, there we have the seven things we don't want in Call of Duty Ghosts. Do you agree, or do you think we're ridiculous idiots who don't know the first thing about Call of Duty? Let us know in the comments below and add your own suggestions for making COD Ghosts the best Call of Duty yet. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Outside Xbox.